Welcome, fellow coders and YouTubers. This is my first video of my series, Learn Swift Quick. And in this lesson, lesson one, we are going to cover constants and variables. So at this point, uh, I'm assuming that you're either on your iMac or your MacBook Pro or your MacBook Air and you have Xcode already downloaded. If you don't, um, you might want to pause this video and download it from the App Store and come back. But for the rest of us, we're just going to jump right into uh, Xcode and we're going to go to the playground this time. I know you're used to me going to the Xcode projects, but this time we're going to the playground. I'm going to call this Learn Swift Quick Variables. Okay. Next. And this is the playground. <clears throat> now, when I first started Swift, I wasn't a big fan of the playground. I, I, everything I did, I wanted to just jump in doing projects. But as you find yourself doing more and more coding, um, you'll find this actually to be a friend. Uh, it'll be literally like playground uh, for a coder because you could practice all of the syntax on it sometimes the more you code you come up with your own uh code that should work um for example you might be working on a project and you might see a workaround where it goes from 300 to maybe 100 lines of syntax um just from your experience in coding so this is the playground where you come and put your ideas in, where you practice your syntax. Um, and like I said, it's, you're going to find it eventually to be a, a friend to you. <clears throat> so, like I said, this lesson, lesson one, is going to cover, I'm going to cover constants and I'm going to cover variables. Um, we're in the playground. Okay, you see basically this is where you write your syntax right here. Over here is the result. And down here is a debugger. Okay. Okay, so what is a variable? A variable is a container that holds data, values, objects, and they point it points to functions and or methods. Constants also is a container that holds data, value, objects, and points to methods and or functions. The difference is is that constants do not change okay it's like a variable but the difference is once once it is assigned um to data okay it cannot be changed and you'll find that to be helpful as when you get to coding hundreds and hundreds of lines of syntax and you get an error and if you know that something is a constant and you know that's not it because that can't be changed whereas if you have a variable it could be changed a hundred times in your code so that's the difference right there um so as you see let's see here if you look at this setup right here var that's the keyword for a variable v-a-r 
So what we have here is your keyword var str that's your variable name okay and simply this is your data this right here is called an assignment operator it's not like equal as in uh, 5 times 5 equals 25. No, it's an assignment operator. It assigns the data behind it, okay, to the variable name in front of it. Okay? So, let's do something here. So I'm going to say variable A is equal to uh, 10 and variable B is equal to 5. Okay, so you have your keyword var, which is variable. You have your variable name, and you have your data. Okay, As you can see over here. That's the output. So, like I said, variables can change. I can go down here and say. var As a matter of fact once it's, I'm going to get an error because this is not I didn't want to do it that way once this is declared I don't want to confuse you because it almost confuses me once it's, once it's declared okay you don't have to use uh, another keyword and declare it again you, it could only have one declaration However, it, as long as it's a variable, you can still change the value. So you don't use the keyword. You just go A equals 7. Okay. So there you go. You see where it says 10, 5, and 7. <clears throat> So now it just took over it. Although you declared it as as um, ten up here, now you're just changing it to seven later on in the code, and you can do that all day. Now here's the difference between a variable and a constant. If I were to make this a constant, let Okay. Oh, look, we're getting an error. It's going to say it's a let constant, so you can't do that. See that? Right here, cannot assign value. It is a let constant. Okay. And it, Swift even gives you, um, it says, look, go ahead and change that back to var, and that'll fix the problem. So you double click on it, and it changes it for you. So there's your difference between variables and constants. So very little um, times do you use. Uh, like letters like A or B or C for a variable name. Okay? When you attach something to uh, data, you want to you wanna know what it is. So let's just say var age 
equals 40. Okay, that makes more sense. And that's how usually it's done. So, let's say that say let's say print a plus b okay and I don't know why that is showing 12 okay yeah again I'm thinking 10 and 5 but then I changed it down here so we got five and seven, right? Which gives us 12, okay? So let's do a few more operators. Print a Okay, so you see A being 7 minus B being 5 gives you 2. Say print A times B. that gives you 35 and we'll do the last one print a divided by b and that gives you one it's not showing the remainder but it it, it, it does show you that 7 divided by 5. 5 only goes into 7 one time. Okay. So, that is the difference between constants and variables. In our next uh, lesson, we're going to go deeper with the variables and the constants because um, we're going to be learning data types, okay? And so that's, we're going to be using variables and constants with strings, integers, um, Boolean, uh, doubles floats um and yeah so that's that'll probably more likely be a little longer uh, uh lesson um so get into your playground work with your variables keep working on your variables and i'm gonna um tomorrow is I'm going to try to do this on a daily basis so we can get through the series, um, like within two weeks, because um, I'm waiting on, on my app to finish up my app um, that I got about to go in the App Store, and um, if you're not subscribed, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I don't have a whole lot of subs, so um, that's to your advantage because if you have a question, I'll actually answer it for you. Uh, so, we'll see you on the next video, lesson two, uh, learn Swift quick, and that will be dealing with data types. Have a good rest of your day.